Hey, Dr. Shane and Dr. Jason. This is Jessica. And um, thank you for agreeing to view this video. I just wanted to show you a few things that you guys can do to get that organic traffic um, and get more clients for free instead of having to rely on advertising. So here we are on your website and you have a nice looking website and you do have some good content. Um, in search engine optimization or SEO, um, content is key. So the rule of thumb is the home page should have a minimum of about 1500 words or 150 words for every buyer intent keyword that you're trying to target. So here would be a buyer intent keyword, upper cervical chiropractic, which is great, but this would be considered a national or global keyword because there's no location attached to it. Um, so these are a lot harder to rank than uh, location-based. So you want to focus on the location-based buyer intent keywords. And I also noticed that um, your symptoms page has a, it has a bunch of different um, symptoms and solutions or maybe services um, and I would actually break these out into separate pages so that you can focus on those buyer intent keywords for each of these patients uh, um, each of these solutions so that you can get the right clients um, finding your website to help them with these issues if we look at your top competitor, according to Google, that is Upper Cervical, and they have an okay website. It's not fantastic. Um, they do have good content, though, and their content is more buyer intent than the content on your website, which is why they are ranked number one locally in Google right now. Um, I want to show you this program here. So this is a program called AREFS. It helps us to analyze how a website performs. And as you can see here, Google has given you a rank of a four out of a hundred, which is low. And that says that Google does not have a whole lot of trust in your website. And that is because of your referring domains and backlinks. You need to have highly authoritative referring domains and backlinks, and you need to have more than your competitors. Um, you have 144 keywords. And if we look at your competition, they only have a 0 0.2. So they're even a lower than you. But the reason that they're able to rank higher than you are because of the keywords that they're going after. Um, they're going after all the buyer intent keywords and the few backlinks that they do have are targeting those keywords which is helping them to get to the number one spot so these guys are going to be super easy to beat um when i look at your keywords uh, you have a lot of high vol volume keywords in here um, like cream of tartar for migraines but these are not buyer intent keywords. These keywords might drive traffic to a blog article, but they're not typically going to convert into a client. So you need to go after those buyer intent location based keywords like Chico chiropractic or cheaper or Chico upper cervical um, and keywords like that. Now, um, what a backlink is, a backlink is when one website links to your website and drives traffic to your website. Google likes this because it's like a popularity contest. So the more relevant this website is that links to you, the higher it's going to rank you in Google. Um, so you want higher ranking websites. You want them to be authoritative. <coughs> And you also want those backlinks to be do follows instead of no follows because a do follow will actually share the power of the high ranking site with your website 
can help you boost faster in Google. Although you have a significant amount of backlinks, most of these are um, lower value. Even the uh, most of your backlinks are actually coming from either a corporate or a franchise site maybe and being redirected to your site, which is fine. Um, it's not hurting you, but it's not giving you any traffic or giving you much of a boost. So you want to go after more of the high authoritative backlinks. The next thing I wanted to talk about is when um, a customer does a search in Google, first thing that usually pops up are going to be your ads. Then you're going to find this Google Map Pack or Google My Business page. And your goal should be to be in the top three of this page, which is highly competitive and continuously changing. So um, the reason you want to be in the top three is because 30% of customers will come here and they won't go any further. They won't go to your website. They're not going to view all. They're not going to search through Google. They're going to call these top three. And if you're not in the top three, you're going to miss out on valuable clients. Um, yours here I found on the second page. Um, and that's because it's not optimized. Um, you need to optimize and utilize the sections of your GMB. You need to have more pictures that are geotagged um, than your top competitors. And um, one of the biggest factors has to do with something called citations, which is the name of your company, your address, phone number, and website, and having those listed in a variety of places like Yelp, Facebook, and Yellow Pages. And you need to have a lot more than your top competitors. Right now, um, your top competitors have you beat by about 50 citations. So you need the, that 50 and then some. So I would go after at least 80 um, so that you can get to the top and maintain the top, uh, at least for a while. So I know you're probably wondering, well, what do I do now? Well, you can either take this information I've given you and apply it to your, yourself, which is totally okay because it's free education. I'm just asking you that you please give me a little feedback and let me know what you thought of this video. Because when you follow these three steps, you can become number one across Google for all of your keywords and all of your back pages. Now, I know you guys are super busy so if you guys do want help getting some of this stuff done and you don't want to have to worry about it, go ahead and give us a call at the number on your screen and we can chat. Um, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon.